From Trump Tower to the White House, the wife of the United States' 45th president has far more to her than may meet the eye. Welcome to Ms. Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In this installment, we'll be looking at interesting facts about the first lady that go beyond her marriage to Donald Trump. You came from another country and this is where you live. How do you feel? It's amazing. I love my home. This list is not intended to suggest a certain political leaning, but instead to paint an accurate picture of the First Lady of the United States and activities surrounding her that may or may not have escaped the news cycle. A former fashion model now about to step into the White House. Number 5. She's not an outspoken political person. Melania said, politics and policy is her husband's job. She stays in her lane. Despite a husband with the most political job in the United States, Melania Trump has largely stayed out of the political limelight. I could be in my home all the time. I don't need to go out every day. During his highly covered presidential campaign, Melania only had two notable appearances. She gave a speech at the Republican National Convention, which garnered a high level of criticism for its striking similarities to Michelle Obama's 2008 DNC speech, followed by a speech focused on the issue of cyberbullying several months later. We must find better ways to honor and support the basic goodness of our children, especially in social media. She since said that her main priority is raising her and Donald's son, Barron Trump. Despite these efforts, it's impossible to avoid the political spotlight these days when you're in Donald's inner circle. So more speeches and headlines are sure to be expected. I'm a full-time mom and I love it. So I decided not to be in the campaign so much, but I support my husband 100%. Number four, she has had success beyond the Trump legacy. A lot of people want to know, what made you want to do this? It's my passion for beauty and fashion to design something for women across the country that they could have fun with. It's more or less impossible at this point to shake the legacy of Donald Trump's wife. But Melania has nonetheless had several remarkable accomplishments outside of his political and commercial empire. For one, she's multilingual, with fluency in Slovenian, English, French, Serbian and German. I speak few languages. A few? Yeah. English? English, Italian, French. Uh, German. And she's also involved with Breast Cancer Research Foundation, the Police Athletic League, and the American Red Cross. Most notably, perhaps, is her 2010 jewelry line with QVC, which focused more so on affordability than exclusivity, and sold like rapid fire upon its initial release. I want all of women have a piece of my jewelry because it will make them feel special, it will make them feel elegant. This was allegedly done without her husband's aid which suggests there's more than just a pretty face. She could be like the Jackie O of the 21st century, where with her style and grace, we could really have a creative, beautiful, special first lady. Number three, her modeling career is well-versed and controversial. Before becoming Mrs. Trump, Melania had long been a fixture on the modeling scene beginning her career at just 16 in her native country of Slovenia. It's impossible to paint an accurate portrait of Melania Trump without highlighting her career as a model, along with the ongoing controversy surrounding it. She started professional modeling at age 16 and has since been featured on Vogue, Glamour and Vanity Fair among other prominent magazines. It's safe to say that no first lady in history has ever had photos like these on display before the American people. Undoubtedly, her most talked about spread took place in British GQ in 2000 and attracted controversy during the presidential election. Before marrying the billionaire, Melania was a top fashion model whose physical beauty made her a big success. Melania has since become the first lady to have modeled nude prior to their time in the White House. This has brought the debate center stage regarding expectations of the First Lady, while simultaneously highlighting the hypocrisy of some on the left guilty of slut-shaming. She basically just ended the segment by attempting to slut-shame Mrs. Trump by referring to her as a lingerie model with every implication and buckets of snide syrup coming from her mouth. Number two, she's received her fair share of unprovoked backlash. My fellow Americans, Expanding upon her controversial nature, despite efforts otherwise, Melania has been under enormous scrutiny since Trump announced his plan to build the wall. It's going to be a serious wall. It's going to be a real wall. It's not going to be a wall that they just climb up and, you know, you see what they do. These include decrying her choice of wearing a pussy bow during the second presidential debate, which was coincidentally several days after Donald's infamous locker room talk tape. Grab him by the pussy. 
I could do anything. And criticism of her anti-bullying speech contrasted with her husband's social media presence. So uh, my question is, if she wants to fight cyberbullying, shouldn't she delete her husband's Twitter account? <laughs> At its worst, acts of violence have been suggested by some, which are an indirect result of frustration with Donald's politics. This has culminated in the lowest First Lady approval rating since 1996, which ironically enough was Hillary Clinton. Number 1. It's unclear what kind of First Lady she will be. Born in Slovenia, Melania will be the first foreign-born First Lady since Louisa Adams. Melania's legacy has not been written yet, and the controversy surrounding her is largely an aftershock of the controversy surrounding her husband. Well, do I agree all the time mm -hmm. with him? Mm -hmm. No, I okay. don't. With very few political statements, a trophy wife aura, and an impressive background, it's anyone's guess what type of First Lady she will be. She'll make a very beautiful First Lady, I can tell you. And a great First Lady. She's got a great heart. Melania has informed the New York Times that she would be very traditional, comparing herself to a modern-day Betty Ford or Jackie Kennedy. With her stated role models being Republican and Democratic First Ladies respectively, what shape her time in the White House will take is uncertain. History hasn't been written yet, and her personal legacy has yet to be decided. Many Americans hearing from her for the first time during that infamous speech, borrowing lines from the current First Lady. So, did you learn anything new about First Lady Melania Trump? What's your opinion of the controversy surrounding her? We met in 1998. It was a fashion week and uh, it was a fashion party then. We were both invited, so uh -huh. that's where we met. For more bipartisan top tens and insightful top fives, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. Exciting time and let's see another few weeks. Well, it's almost over. Hang in there. I look forward. <laughs>